Hey, welcome to Football 101. It's Dave Wyman. I want to talk about turnover ratio. The Seahawks are number five in turnover ratio. They're plus four, and there's a reason why that's significant. But first, let's re review really quick. Most of you guys know this, but turnover ratio is the number of takeaways that you get. So the other day in the 16 to 10 win over the Rams, Seahawks got five takeaways. There was a muffed punt, a couple of uh, interceptions, and a couple of fumbles. So they got five. Five, and then we had two interceptions, one by Tanner McAvoy, one by Russell Wilson. Gave away two, so they end up going plus three in turnover ratio, and that puts them at plus four on the year. And the reason why this stat is so significant, it's the most predictive stat in the NFL that you can look at, and the Seahawks are now uh, at number five. And why that's significant, I went back the last four years and looked at the top five teams in turnover ratio, and I know you're asking, why the last four years? Because I got tired of looking up stats, okay? So I just went back the last four years, and here's what this equals. First of all, the average number of wins, you're good for 11 wins if you're in the top five in that stat. And of course, this number will be a lot higher at the end of the year if you're having success. It's plus 17, sometimes plus 20, like the Seahawks uh, were in the 2013 season, the year they won the Super Bowl. And so you're good for about 11 wins and good for about 90% chance to get into the playoffs. 18 out of 20 teams over those four years made it into the playoffs. And uh, just for fun, I thought, okay, I'll go back and look at another random year. I kind of knew where the stats were going to go. Went back to 2008. All five teams in the top five made the playoffs, and they averaged about 12 wins. So that'll get you home field advantage. So let's take a look at uh, one of those turnovers that the Seahawks got against the Rams on Sunday. All right, let's take a look, first of all, at what the Rams were in. They're in the most common personnel grouping you're going to see in the NFL. It's called 11 personnel. We know we count the number of backs first and the number of tight ends second, and then the remainder of the five receivers are, are receivers, so wide receivers. So what you got, here's your one back, here's your tight end, and then the three wides. The Seahawks are in probably the most common defensive personnel grouping, which is nickel. They take out an extra linebacker and put a nickel defensive back in, in this case, Justin Coleman, who's been playing really well, really well. The other thing is they run uh, probably the most common defense you'll see out of the Seahawks here on this play. It's cover three. And what that means is we got three guys in the deep part of the field. Earl, uh, Shaq Griffin, and uh, Richard Sherman. And then you got four underneath droppers in Cam Chancellor, uh, KJ Wright, Bobby Wagner, and then Justin Coleman. So three guys deep, four guys underneath, and then four guys rushing the passer. What they do here, what the, the Rams do, is they run these guys in crossing routes here. And what they're trying to do for with the tight end, and uh, the receiver is they're trying to get these guys to jump them. But in a zone, what you do is, and this is KJ does it perfectly, he kind of uh, crowds the guy and then sort of carries him through and then lets him go over to Bobby. And then Bobby does the same thing, except Bobby kind of gets turned around, but he sees this guy in time and kind of gets back here. And then Goff ends up throwing the interception. Now, what's going on, and this is what turnovers are all about, is hard work. And sometimes it's not spectacular play, but what happened on this a lot of people didn't see is that Jaron Reed, big number 90 right here, he takes his guy and just bench presses him all the way back into Jared Goff. So Jared's trying to hit this tight end here, and what happens is um, the guard gets shoved right into his lap, and so when he goes to follow through, he, he hits the offensive guard and it makes the ball fly up, and Earl Thomas is able to pick it off. So you know, spectacular play by Earl, but the guy that really did the work was Jaron Reed, and it's tough. Those big guys, this guy, Roger Saffold, is 325 pounds, and Jaron Reed marched him all the way back, and that's what caused the turnover, and that's typically what you will see on turnovers is that somebody does something like that, some spectacular play, uh, and sometimes it's not so spectacular. Just It's just hard work, dirty work uh, is what, uh, what these guys down inside do, and they got a lot of play out of these guys because he caused this turnover over. Sheldon Richardson got a fumble recovery and an interception. So they're doing all the things that get you that turnover ratio that I talked about. And uh, that's Pete Carroll football. And he preaches that. And that's what this team has been built on over the last few years in this championship era.